you work for the Park Service? Yes, I do. Yeah. Actually, I'm a volunteer. You're a volunteer. Okay. What's your name? My name is Laura. Laura. Nice to meet you. My name is Brenton. This is Wavy Gravy, the spoiled brat beagle. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a five-minute synopsis of the history of this lighthouse? Oh, my gosh. It won't even take that long. <laughs> it was established, it was built in 1881 of locally quarried stone. So they were shipped it out here, built it. Uh, when they started, when the shipping started changing the transportation on the lake. The lighthouses were built originally to, for the traffic that went through the Apostle Islands. So Raspberry was first and, Man and Michigan and Long Island. But then Duluth became a big center and all of a sudden the ships had to go around the islands. So the fourth one to be built is this one because there's a nasty shoals out there and it was like I say, 1881, and it had a Order 4 Fresnel lens that shot over 20 miles out over the lake and uh, had two main lighthouse keepers. Uh, there was Letterly, who was involved with a big rescue on the lake when, a, uh, when the Prussia went down, caught fire and went down. And then there was Wallach, which uh, took care of the, uh, was here when the, uh, Savona went down in 1905 and that was a tragic story um, there was a gale and fog so he couldn't launch because he couldn't see where the boat was going down but it was on the shoals up in front and they actually have a marker now on the shoals but um, 11 people made it to shore and seven did uh, lose their lives and they collected a number of the bodies drifted up on shore here Mm. But um, then in 1920, uh, they automated it with an acetylene light, and since that, <coughs> from then on, the, cat, the person on Raspberry Island would come over here and take care of this. And then <coughs> a little later, in the uh, 50s, then the Coast Guard automated all the lights and um, just come out here every now and then. Mm -hmm. But it is still used for shipping. Really? So it, it still has a light up there. It's a it's an automated light. Yep, there is still a light up there. It isn't quite as bright as the Fresnels, but it is still uh, casts out almost 20 miles, so that any of the freighters coming through here can use this as a signpost, so they know where they are. Wonderful. So yeah, it's a great great place. Yeah. Thank you so much for telling us about it. You are welcome. That's a genius way to put it. I'm going to borrow that. Let me see if I can read this for you guys real quick. Sand Island Light Station, marking the western end of the Apostle Islands. The Sand Island Light guides down lake ships around hazardous island waters. For upbound ships, the light is a marker pointing the way to Duluth, built in 1881 of local sandstone. Sand Island Light was the first Apostle Island Light to be automated from the 1920s through the part of the 50s. It was cared for by the Raspberry Island Keeper. Since then, all Apostle Island Lights and navigational aids are tended by the Bayfield Coast Guard Station. This is one of the ships that went down around here, it sounds like. The terrible gale, the demise of the Savona. Lake Superior is an important highway of commerce, as with any highway, it is sometimes passable. During a violent gale in September 8, 1905, the steamer Savona, with a load of iron ore and 24 people, struck Sand Island Shoal and broke apart. This was the lighthouse keepers here. It's a nice looking couple. Back when men were men and women were women. Holy cow. Well, if you insist on going, then go. <laughs> Should be a husky the way she wants to pull. Oh, I know. She wants to be a sled dog. <laughs> yeah. When I grow up, I want to be. Oh, it's all original, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, they put on a new roof, thank goodness, to save the structure. I mean, once you have a good roof, yeah. Okay, the inside can wait. Yeah, a Our roof and a foundation. Roof goes. You're, it's it's so true. I just bought a little place. I'm kind of fixing up, and that roof needs some attention quick. Yeah. 
So, yeah, this is it, and we've got, a, you know, some pictures from... Yeah, I'll go through those in a little bit yeah, here. Yeah, we can take a look at these later. And, you know, just the map of the whole area, the nautical yeah. map. So guys, this might be a different perspective for you. We're on Sand Island right now. We were on Raspberry right here just before this, and I came around probably right over the top of the shoals there, but that's okay, because I only dropped about a foot, and we found a way in here, so, and the lighthouse is right on that tip there, where we are right now. Go, 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 go. You gonna go up or not? If you're not, then I'm gonna leave you down here, go. Come on, go. You going up? You insist on going. Go. Those are some of the bedrooms, and they, they are mess, plaster falling, so not allowed in there. Okay. But look at the width of the walls, too. I mean, just the width. Oh, I know. Look at the, the thickness right there, like in that window seal there. Yeah. And right behind you or right in front of you. Come on, let's go. Come on. Go. Hey, go. The place was built to last. And it has. Yes. The place where they kept the oil for the lantern. skills that they had back in the day it's oh, amazing yeah. Look at that. it's curved yeah yeah even in making it curved it's like boat building okay so here's where you gotta watch your head okay. and your shoulders you'll catch a shoulder coming up here okay These little midget doors, guys, you gotta duck in and go go around. There we go. It's like a little hot house in there. Yeah, it is. I'm afraid of heights here, so I'm gonna stay oh, okay. nice and close. That's all right. <laughs> what would you like to tell us about being up here? Well, this to me is just gorgeous. You can see Minnesota over there. You could see some of the rock formation, some of the oldest rock around. It's about a billion years old. No kidding. So old that the, you won't find fossils in it. No fossils. No kidding. Now, when we have even summer storms, we'll have, uh, we won't be able to go to the edge of the grass here because the, the lake will be throwing water waves up and splashing uh, right onto those to the railings that go around there, to the fencing really? that goes around. So like when a, when a storm comes in from the northwest, yeah. it'll, it'll come right over those rocks and start hitting, getting up into the grass. Come all the way up into the grass. So it's kind of fun when you're up here in a storm, <laughs> although you usually stay inside <laughs> on those days. They're pretty well, spectacular. What a cool job. Yeah, it, uh, it is fun to do it. If you can spend the time, it's pretty great. Give me about 10 years, 15 years. If we still got a country left, I'll be volunteering doing stuff like this too. Okay, so the one that's uh, the farthest, that's a Devil's Island straight that's across. Devils. Okay, and that's the one, it also has a lighthouse and it has the sea caves. It has a lighthouse and it has beautiful sea caves. The sea caves there it looks like someone sculpted them. They're so intricately carved. The ones on this island are fun because there are some of, there's one of them that's a double decker and you can go through the various arches. And then the ones off of Myers Beach, they're just big. They're just 
big. That's on the mainland? Yep, that's on the mainland out to the west. Okay. So each of the cave sections uh, has its own personality. It's really, it's really worthwhile going to all three of those areas. And the ones on the mainland are kind of uh, popular in the winter, if I, as I understand it? Um, if the ice is good, they'll send people out. And we have gone out there in the winter time. And pretty spectacular to see the ice formations. But it's the ice conditions, it's got to be nice and solid to walk <laughs> out there. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Right. But she insisted. She was going to scream if we left her out. Okay, go. Come on, go. Am I going to carry you? Am I carrying you? I think I probably am. Let me spoil the apple. Okay, watch off your head. Okay. Yeah, your shoulder. Okay, can you take it from here? Come on, go. You got it. Your head there. You got it. Nope. You want to keep going in there, but you're not going in there. Go. Go. How old is she? Six. Oh. She looks like a puppy. This was one of the bedrooms, guys. Was like another bedroom. This looks like maybe it was a kitchen. Is that Mishpakotan Island? 